Okay guys, how's it going? Mike with New Way Ag. Today we are going to go over the T100, just the basic hardware overview. This is not a comparison video between this drone and the T60X or a T50. This is strictly going over all the latest and greatest features of the T100 and there's a lot of them. Let's just start right off the rip. This is a big spray drone. This thing in inches is a base is 40 inches by 40 inches by 48 inches so 40 inches high 40 inches wide and 48 inches long so a really big drone i have a toyota tundra crew max the bed on that is a five and a half foot bed this drone along with the spreader system it kind of was hanging off the tailgate really really big drone the biggest thing that we were having with this drone is trying to figure out how the propellers should be stored away there's multiple different ways of doing it but if you have the propellers out here you're kind of banging up against it as it sits right now how you see there's one set of propellers in the front and there are bumpers right here so you can see this bumper right here is for the propeller bumping up against that that currently is stored away with the battery in it to open it up, you have to open up the arms in a certain direction because you couldn't open up the back one because it's all locked in. Yep. So you just pull this arm off like this, open it up, and then you lock the arm in. It, it partially locks in already by itself by that movement right there. Then you just pull in that little handle there. So then for the front arm, really easy. I like opening up my propellers. Now, it would probably spin it open if you would let it like that, but then you're just putting unnecessary stress on the components of the drone. Another really nice thing is the spray system does not run through the arms. It is on its own chassis. I'm gonna call the bottom portion of this drone its own chassis. So to open up the, the spray wands, you just pull this spray wand out like that super super easy to do i'll do the other side and then we'll start diving into the main frame and then the payload that it's attached so i'm just pulling out this arm first which is the rear arm again it partially locks in there you can see how nice it does that lock it in opening up the powers you heard that little squeak there we've already addressed this with dji these drones squeak a lot and i wasn't sure why that is and it has something to do with the propellers being carbon fiber, 100% carbon fiber propellers, and the propeller bushing in between there. We have heard it squeak a lot right out of the box. They told us that there's really, there's no need to replace anything. That's just how they've been doing. So we got that to open there. Again, spray one, super easy. It doesn't even lock in. It has like this pressure thing on the back. Once it's open, it doesn't really close unless you really push it forward. So as I was saying, what's really nice about the T100 is it does not have any of the plumbing running through the arms of the drones where the spray lance is back underneath your motor. It does not have that. If you need to make repairs, it's really, really simple to do it because it has its own spray wands all attached to the bottom payload. What makes it really nice of not having any plumbing in your arms is being able to unbuckle your top portion of your drone and moving the drone from the spray payload to the spreader payload or to the lifting payload. And you do that by just undoing these four buckles and then also unplugging your power to your payload on the bottom. Quick and easy to do this to take it off of your payload that you're on. Now it is pretty heavy and you're gonna wanna have two guys do this. You just grab the arms and set it on the payload that you want. So when you do switch payloads and you have one of these buckles open like this, you will get a warning on your screen that you are not properly attached to your payload. That is another nice feature is they have sensors built in to these buckles right here. So if you do swap payloads and you happen to forget to close one completely, you'll get that warning on your controller. Those are the things that DJI has thought about when they build their drones. Safety is a huge thing for DJI. They just think of everything. And that's why we're going to go in all the features of the T100. Starting with the thing that's talked about in spray drones is LiDAR. Everybody wants LiDAR because it terrain falls better, it senses smaller things. That's what you're going to get in the T100. This little unit right here is the LiDAR for the T100. Now, I haven't run it enough to really see how well it works, but it does pick up power lines. Now, power lines are still 
not covered if you smack one with warranty, but this little LiDAR picks it up. And it's a really nice feature on your controller. There's so many different views that you can pick. You can choose your 360s, we'll jump into there, or you can choose to see your LiDAR data that's being sent back real time as it's flying along. So if you choose your LiDAR, it'll have all these points. It'll kind of give you a image of a simulated drone and then the surroundings that the LiDAR is picking up. I haven't used it enough to see how good it is, but again, you do have LiDAR on the T100. Next thing, 360 vision sensors. So you see these four vision sensors here. It allows me to not only look through my FPV camera, but if I'm flying down next to a tree line and I want to see to the right of the drone, I can just go in there and choose the right side. Now I can see right next to my drone instead of needing to spin the drone and looking through the FPV camera. You can look to the right, to the left, down, back, forward, everything. There's no other spray drone on the market right now that allows you to see 360 around your drone for extra safety. I'm telling you, this thing is going to be really good for situational awareness. Another thing is this radar, radar 360 radar. It's high enough. You can see that the radar is up past anything else. So no tank is in the way of the radar on the front. And that is spinning radar like this. 360 radar allowing you again, when you're getting close to those trees, the radar along with the LIDAR and the vision sensors are trying to keep the drone from hitting obstacles when you are flying your drone. If you're getting close to a tree, it's going to notify you, hey, there's something there, stop, break. It'll even give you a warning on your FPV. On your screen recording, you will see that it'll have a triangle giving you a hazard. It's just going to tell you how far that hazard is in front of you or beside you. The AI features that are built into the FPV going to the controller is like nothing else. Again, there's a lot of things in here that nobody else has. So the AI features that it has is being able to see people like us. I was getting ready to spin it up here. We were in front of it. It's like, hey, there's a, a person there. Are you sure you're good to go? And you can see it on your controller. It uh, alerts you there as well as vehicles. If you're flying close to a truck or something like that, you're going to see that on your FPV camera on your drone. Really nice. We also have downward radar in the front. So right down below your FPV camera is a, a radar for downward in front of your drone. As well as behind your drone, you have another small radar behind your drone. Another thing that your T100 has is RTK positioning, which are these two little pucks right here. This allowing you for more precise flying if you're connected to an RTK network or an RTK ground base station. Next is your battery. The battery is a 41,000 milliamp battery, so bigger than the T50. I really like this battery because we got an, a new handle and you guys are gonna be like, oh, Mike, you're just a wuss or whatever. Well, I was running the T60X this year a lot, pulling those batteries, running long hours. I did it, just make sure to watch those videos. It maybe worked a little bit too much. FAA, I know you don't watch these videos. Whoa, whoa. Here I come, Oh, here I come. Oh. Maybe you do, anyhow. I was working long hours. The battery handle was a square and it would dig into your fingers after a while. This battery here, the T100, has a rubbery type handle making it really nice to grip and pull out. What's so nice about the T100 battery, it's like spring loaded. So when I pull this handle, it almost pops out and pulling the handle is releasing the mechanisms on the sides that's locking that battery into the frame. So when I pull this out, it pops up and I can just lift it straight out. Dropping it in really easy. We just line it up and I can let this drop down in there and it locks in. I have noticed running the T100 that this battery configuration of how they have the rollers and the machining, this battery fits in there really nice and snug. And we're not having an issue with it getting caught up when you're trying to pull it out or where it sticks. This thing so far has been working really well to just pulling it out and dropping it in. Now, since we're talking about the battery, this is one thing that I thought is going to be really be a pain is how tall the T100 is. But you see where my foot is. What we're doing is I'm taking my foot and I'm stepping on the inside leg, letting me get closer to the drone. And so I'm right here next to the battery and I can just lift that straight up rather than being out here and trying to lean in. 
you do this for too long, you're gonna get fatigued. So this allows us to step in, come right up against the drone, and then just pop it out like that. It's not gonna be bad. Plus, who doesn't like the little curls for the girls, right? More features about the battery. Let's talk about this at the cooling station. So the batteries have extra vents for cooling. It sits on the front of the T100. That way when it's flying forward, you have air moving through the battery. So you got two big vents here on the batteries, as well as the slotted vents for cooling when you're charging. So on the, the cooling station, this is your cooling station that you use to charge your batteries. There's one fan here on the cooling station. There's a fan here and on the other side. So you have three fans. And basically what those fans are doing is blowing air through there and on each side. The cooling station has a little lip to put your foot on to if you're pulling the battery out. But when we mount this to the new AG trailer, that little foothold there doesn't do as much. But you just basically you drop this in to get, it's a really nice fit to drop down in there. Something we didn't really talk about, it has the big battery terminals and these guide posts that help that battery align down in there. But as you can see, it is a really nice snug fit allowing you to just drop that battery right into your cooling station and having that little foothold there helps to go ahead and pull it out. Really, really nice cooling box for the T100 battery. So that's all the battery features of the T100. Since we're here, I'm just gonna grab the controller really quick. This does not come with your T100 controller. This is a screen protector that we sell, but it's very, very similar to a T50 controller. You have your hotkeys right here. You can set these as custom hotkeys. Everything is so intuitive about this controller. It's really nice. It feels good in your hands. It really just feels good. And everything is where you want it. It's right here, you know, operate smoothly. Love this controller. Another thing that the T100 controller has is it has a built-in internal battery as well as a battery you can pop out, a WB37 battery, have it on a charger, have two of them and then swap these out and you literally never run out of battery in your controller. This little thing also does not come with your T100 controller. This is a super clamp that we mount to our railing, but the battery, pop it out, put another one in. It makes it really, really nice. Controller, I love it. It's ergonomic. Everything about this controller, I like. Let's talk about the spreader tank on the T100. Let's just say it's a giant, okay? It's a 150 liter dry spreader tank. It's different than if it's a liquid tank being a 100 liter liquid. 150 liter spreader tank capable of carrying 100 kg or 220 pounds. Big, big system. Augers like that way better than the T50 was a drop down. So changing your augers out is really easy. You just pop this loose like this, pop this out, different auger sizes. The auger system and the spreader tank on the T100 is a big, big spreader tank and it's going to get a lot of work done. So spreader tank and you see how easy it is. You just take it from the spray tank, boom, move your drone over and you're ready to go within probably, if you really want it to hurry, 30 seconds or less. I like it. Back to the video. So I'm going to move to the back of the drone. All drones come with this fill through cap. You just pop that little orange plug out you can fill straight through the cap. Now, you guys know, I love running without the cap, so I probably still will run without the cap on it so I can see what I'm looking at. It does come with the fill through cap. So on the tank, again, I like this setup because everything's so easy to access. You got your flow meter right here. If you gotta undo your pipes for any reason, you got the little wing nuts. Now, again, I don't know, if, you know, will those break off with time? Everything is so easy to access right here. You got the pumps down here easy access, easy to drain, nothing to reach uh, around to try to get in there. So really, really nice. So the T100's max flow capacity for the pumps with the single atomizers on the spray wands, you're looking at about 7.8 gallons per minute. But now if you have the four nozzles on it, you'll be able to do about 10.3 gallons a minute. So this drone is really going to change how those high volume applications will be getting done because you can dump off that load a lot faster. The drone will fly much faster because of being able to do 10.3 with four nozzles 
or do 7.8 to 7.9 with only two nubs. Another feature on the front of the T100 is the light. The light is able to shine out in front of the drone as well as straight down. So on the bottom of this light, when you are flying at night and you go to land, you can turn on the bottom portion of lights. The beam will go from looking out to looking straight down, comes out at the bottom of the light. It's going to make it really, really nice for nighttime operations. Another big thing that I notice on the T100 is the build quality. It just feels like everything is stronger than their drones in the past, like the T50. So if you like shake on it, it doesn't just like wobble around. The tubing on your tank payload is much bigger, heavier tubing, as well as carbon fiber tubes construction down there. So with time, we're gonna figure out, you know, does this build quality hold up longer? But we didn't really have a problem with that on the T50. It was just something that was like, man, that's a little chintzy, but this one here, it, uh, they picked up on that. Coming up into the arms, the arms of the T100, they're bigger diameter than what a T50 or T60 is. The locking mechanism, we already went over that. The ESCs, they're both together, so you don't have a top ESC and a bottom ESC, they're both together. So if you have your top ESC go bad, you have to replace the whole thing. That's one complaint that I have on the ESC as itself, is if you have to replace the top one, well, you gotta replace the bottom one as well because it's all, all manufactured as one. The motors, big motors, big propellers, carbon fiber propellers, like I already told you. One thing on the motors is we've noticed that the bottom motors are on a slight tilt, helping the swath of the drone, as well as maximum propulsion to take off and to fly forward. The drone will fly at 45 miles an hour, so allowing you to get into those fields and back to your load up point much faster. You're going to be much more efficient having the T100 to get those big jobs done. High volume, flying faster, into your fields, coming back faster. I'm telling you, I'm excited to see what the efficiency level will be for us on big fields with the T100. So the T100, I already said it's an octocopter, means has eight motors, and it's a coaxial design, meaning one motor spins one way and the other spins the other. So it would spin like this. It helps to counter the torque of the motors themselves, as well as that uh, redundancy. Another big feature of the T100 is the O4 transmission. The connection between the drone and the controller is like none other. It is insanity how great the connection is between the controller and the drone itself. The antennas are mounted on the back of the arms right here. Easy access if you need to replace them. The O4 transmission is going to allow for that long distance flying if you need to. And the latency between the FPV camera and the drone itself is instant. It is just like, there's literally no latency with that. On the front of the drone, we didn't talk about the FPV much. It is a fixed camera with gimbal-like software. So it's a fisheye cropped down to give you that gimbal feel, still allowing you to, if you need to, on your controller, you move the dial, allowing you to slowly tilt down and slowly come back, operating just as if it were a gimbal. Really, really nice. We fly FPV all the time. If you don't have a good FPV camera on your drone, it can get a little sketchy at times. So love this FPV camera, the best out there. That is basically all the features of the T100. What you are getting with the T100, big payload, 26 gallon tank, you're getting faster speed. So 45 miles per hour, top speed, max flow capacity with four nozzles, 10.3 gallons per minute going to really dump off that load fast. With two nozzles, you're at 7.8 gallons per minute. You're also getting 360 vision sensors, 360 radar and LIDAR with the T100. Many features on the T100 that other drones do not have. DJI is again leading the industry in the spray drone market. That's about it for the T100. In the next video, we're going to do a deep dive into the ecosystem of the DJI T100 and all that stuff as we take this T100 into the fields here in the States, put it through its paces. If you guys are looking for a T100, get a hold of us, newwayag.com or call the team, 234-271-2767. Get yours today, I'm telling you. It really, any type of field that you might have, this thing is going to get that work done for you guys. I'm really looking forward to see what the T100 is going to get done in the 2026 season here in the United States. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, follow along, give it a thumbs up, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.